Hello, everybody. We're back once again with anime, yay or nay. I'm the Outback Al. I'm Hot for Justice. And I'm TV News. And we're uh, we're still watching Tokyo Mew Mew. This is going to be uh, the second to last time we're going to be doing that for this particular thing before we switch over uh, in July to do... God, what was it? Like, what do they call it? Seasonal anime? Is that just the word for it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's for... like, like, like the seasonally premiering shows. So. Yeah, still, still figuring out what we're gonna be watching at that point. But for now, you know what? What does it matter? Uh, we're watching Tokyo Mew Mew right now, and we had three episodes. Episodes, what was this? Twenty one through twenty three. Yeah. I forget the numbers a lot, but yeah. Uh, so twenty one was a snobby Leia episode. Yep. Joy. With a little yes. bit of plot. With with some plot, I guess. Um, yeah, Snobby Lay is having bad dreams, and doesn't want to be a Mew Mew, because, you know, we hadn't, I feel like we already did that plot before. Like, they're recycling a lot of plots whenever it comes back around to these people. Yeah. Um, but we have some workplace shenanigans, and Pinky, I don't know, is doing something. Snobby Leia throws a punch at her, I guess. Because, um, I guess she's just in a mood. And Pinky's in the wrong place at the wrong time, but they they, they were they were quick on that, like just popped a. Uh, well, no, thing I think up. it was more that they were like having an argument about like because Zoe is doing like a lot of work around the cafe and Karina is doing nothing and yeah, Karina's you know, like, oh, do deal. you realize you remember what this is for, right? Yeah. <laughs> so she's <laughs> like, more or less just. I kind of get mad. it where it's like, yeah, they don't really have to have a successful restaurant to... to no, they really don't. <laughs> doesn't mean you can't help out a little bit. I mean, you can get to... Mm -hmm. Well, what does she need money for? I guess that's kind of the thing. She's yeah. the 1%. Um, but then they find a duck and that's hurt and they spritz Ducky. it with some potion and it's all better and... Uh, Good, uh, we're calling it Blue Aqua. Blue Aqua? Isn't that redundant? Yeah. Good on you, I Pinky. Mean... Like, as soon as I heard Blue Aqua, I'm like, that's redundant. And they said it in the show. I'm like, but here's the thing about that. It's like, I know it's probably, that line is probably just in the dub. I don't know what the sub did. It is. And it it's, is. and it's, the sub was what called it Blue Aqua. So you have to keep it the same. No. But I'm like, thinking to myself, the... if you're saying the insult that I'm already thinking of, then that's just you being lazy and not coming up with a good thing. <laughs> oh no, they changed the name. It went... What? They turned it into Blue Aqua because the original was called Mew Aqua. Yes. Okay, Blue Aqua was a better option. Yes. Um, <laughs> I just, I don't like that. Like, sometimes it's kind of funny to show that you're kind of stupid or whatever, but it's like, uh... I feel like when you're like doing like a professional whatever and they're like hey we call it this that's a stupid name why'd you call it that i'm thinking to myself as an audience member why did you call it that that is really dumb why couldn't you actually come up with a good name for that mm -hmm. um but yeah uh goku's dressed up back up as finland today and uh for whatever reason, I guess Lettuce doesn't really remember being a mermaid, because they're like, hey, you remember when you took, grew a fishtail? Oh, vaguely. I'm like, how do you forget that? Yeah. That was that was kind of a, that was like the, the whole climax of that episode. But, so we turn out everyone's going to get a mega evolution at some point. And I, yeah. I'm assuming so for the amount of episodes that are still left in this season, you know, that's all going to be next season, is everyone uh, evolving into super-powered mermaid bird people or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and then yeah. Pinky meets Mark in the park, and she makes a bunch of puns that I'm just, just like, why? Yeah, didn't enjoy that. Oh, and she tells and she tells Mark all about the super potion that they found, and which is not good. Why would you do that? Yeah, well, well, I mean, I think we've established Pinky's kind of dumb. Yeah, that's why I call is. her Pinky. It's not just because she's pink; she's also like an idiot like Pinky. Uh, and Mark said something that was like, hey, you know, 
quick fix isn't always the solution. Sometimes you just gotta do it yourself. I'm like, okay, he's got work ethic, good guy. He could probably do better than Pinky at this point. Um, <laughs> I don't know. But, you know. Pinky's a groupie for anything Mark set Mark says or does, and I, what did, what were they going to do? He was like, "Hey, let's go do this thing or clean trash out of the river." Oh, I think, huh? Something like that. Yeah, which is actually something that they actually did in the manga during the first chapter. They well, were I'm going gonna, to go clear trash out of the river. I'm gonna throw yeah. this out there for for environmentalists or whatever that these like. Uh, planeteers are supposed to be it's all the side characters who are actually doing any like environmental stuff mm -hmm. it's like we don't actually think about like doing anything good until otter kid shows up or butterfly lady or mark i don't it's like they they it's like they i i get that they have a job and like stopping the evil alien people to i'm betting in the second season we turns out they're not evil but, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> then we then we, we meet up with the... <laughs> I love that, I like this little exchange they had with uh, Queen Jellyfish and Sardon Reginald Whisper the Third. Uh, well, Dren, do you have any ideas? Forgive me, fellas, but... That mind-numbing prattle of yours has caused me to drift. Besides, I'm far too busy gazing into my bottle of blue aqua. Your bottle of what? Like it? I named it myself. The name sounds a bit redundant to me. I'm like, yes, so why didn't you name it something good? I don't understand this. And you're saying they did change the name. I'm like, why didn't you actually change it to something, you know, useful? Didn't even have to be anything, like, super clever. It was just... Didn't have just something that's not redundant. I don't know. But yeah, they're gonna. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, Queen Jellyfish is like, hey, let's not tell Big Blue about this, because we'll, we'll, we'll we need to learn about it. But he says it in a way. He's like, what do you what do you say we zip our yappers and keep it on the down low, huh? And um, I like to point out that according to Urban Dictionary, on the down low refers to a straight man who enjoys having sex with other men in secret. <laughs> So this is just more confirmation of things we already knew. Okay. Oh, he on the DL, you know. All right. Um, but yeah, like just and the fact that he's not telling Big Blue or Deep Blue C, I don't know what what's his, what's the villain's name? Deep Blue. Deep Blue. Yeah. The fact that he's not telling me it just keeps like saying like this guy's gonna pull a star scream and and betray everybody and try to take over the decepticons or something at some point i'm not gonna be at all surprised when it happens um oh and monkey can apparently smell mark on people that's creepy uh that snappy. axe body spray man Just what doesn't seem everywhere. like an axe body spray kind of guy does he I don't know. You never know sometimes with these people. I guess that's true. Uh, you know what? He's. I knew a lot of guys in high school who weren't exactly douchebags, but they they did wear Axe body spray. So. Yeah. Anyway, Slobby, bleh, Slobby and Leia, Snobby <laughs> Leia's being a dick, and and the one person who can get through to her is is Wolf, and she's just like. Wolf just tells her off in the most subdued but devastating way. It's like, Wolf is really cool as a character, but I feel like I'm I'm running into a bit of an issue with them because they have some more lines in this episode. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the same problem that I had with Lettuce early on where they just read the line in the exact same way all the time. Except at least with lettuce, you could tell they were trying something. But Wolf is just so disinterested in everything that's happening. <laughs> Can I get paid yet? <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. Even in intense situations, she's still just kind of like this. Oh my god, I was attacked by a giant carrot. Which, like, to some degree, I'm kind of like, yeah, Wolf would be pretty 
even tempered, all things considered, in most of these situations. Because it's like she can actually do shit and and is never having a problem fighting things. So I kind of get it that they're, they're just kind of like, eh. but a little bit of variety here and there would be would be nice. Apparently, uh, the the cafe gets milk orders, and uh, the half and half is is lumpy. That's bothersome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But was, was this the episode where um, Wesley said to Goku uh, that lettuce will make you a turkey yeah. sandwich or something? Yeah. And and he said turkey. It's always turkey. <laughs> Order something else. I was wondering about that too. <laughs> I just you, laughed so hard. You work and possibly live in a in a restaurant. You could, you own it. You could just change the menu. You could do whatever you thought, want. I thought it was a funny line. No, that was a funny line. I'm like, why? Why just just get something else? I don't know, but Snobby Leia thir- turns in her two weeks notice, and everyone else is all broken up about it, and I'm like... She didn't even turn Did in her two week her? notice. She just gave back her stuff. It, it was me being facetious. I get um, it, but still. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's, everyone's having a bad time, except for Wolf, because, you know, Wolf doesn't show any kind of emotion whatsoever. Um, <laughs> but then Goku and Wesley, are, they're, they're trying to figure out what to do next but you know screw that it's lunchtime and they and and you mentioned that he's angry that it's turkey but you didn't mention the fact that they call it a turkey mew witch yep yep i don't get that that's just dumb just call it a turkey sandwich yeah like it's not even a good pun if that's what you're going for i didn't write the menu don't ask me yes but they did (laughs) <laughs> i don't know it's like it's like you have control over these things okay know. maybe they're dumb and they and they don't and they don't and they and they're fine with dumb puns but at the same time it's like you own the restaurant if you don't want a turkey sandwich you can get something else mm-hmm. turkey it's always turkey <laughs> it's always turkey guess you gotta go for that because the milk's lumpy <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, then Wolf shows up, and oh, oh my God! Uh, Wolf says they need to get Snobby Leia back, and and Goku disagrees. And for once, I'm like, yeah, Goku, you're right. You don't need them. All you actually need is Wolf. Wolf says they're strongest as a team, but in reality, they're strongest when everybody just gets out of Wolf's way and they do all the work. I mean, you beat two armies of monsters in one episode by yourself. Do you need anyone? No, she's OP. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she gets nerfed in the next episode, I think, but... Um, but yeah, then there's an earthquake caused by aliens and under the cafe, because, you know, yeah. <laughs> and then Goku comes out and is like, Those hoodlums are out to steal the blue aqua. I'm like, goodness, Goku. I know they're your enemies, but there's no need for that kind of language. I have not yes. heard the term hoodlum in a, in a long time. I realize this didn't come out, like, last year or something, but, like, who said, just says hoodlum? Yeah. Anyway, um... Little, little nitpick note. Uh, they, I think they messed up the editing in the transformation sequence because Monkey's hopping around with a tail before it actually pops out of her butt. And... <laughs> it just kind of bugged me a little bit. Like, that's that's... That's not how that, that works. Yeah. You could have fixed that. Anyway, Snobby Leia is super depressed. and uh, she Oh, she's so depressed she can't even get her buns together. That sucks. And uh, then Wolf shows up with her trademark warmth. And, um... Yeah, attacks her. Because this yes. is the way to, to, I guess, snap someone out of their depression. Is to just... Throw fireballs at them. I guess so. But, yeah, Snobby Lay doesn't want to go back to work and... Yeah, let's pull out my whip and go for it. Uh, Queen Jellyfish throws some jellyfish in a blue aqua and makes a... a honestly, a pretty awesome, like, Hydra dinosaur thing. Mm-hmm. 
which is pretty cool. And then conveniently, while Wolf is playing Terminator and then gives an inspirational speech to, to Snobby Leia, the, the monster just pops out under them. Like, wow, you didn't even have to go looking for it. That's that's pretty good. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and, of course, the Snobby Leia is like, oh, I can, I'll join the fight. And then she tr does a transformation on her own. And does a big to do about like shooting an arrow, and it doesn't actually hurt the thing. <laughs> I was like, that. Well, that was a whole lot of build up to nothing. Uh, then they're like distracted or said, Pinky does a Naruto run. I want to point that out. Yes, she does. And the monster has a giant eye on its back, and Pinky somehow redirects an arrow into it, and then they splash it with water uh, to better encase it in Jello before Pinky blows it up with a magic bell. And Wolf did nothing. Wolf probably could have handled it on her own. Just saying. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, the blue aqua breaks, and it floods the town, causing untold amount of property damage and loss of human life. And But no, just keep swimming, swimming, Pinky! Yeah. I don't think that'll ever be brought up, like, how high that water level was. Nope. But, you know, Wolf dodged the whole thing, and she's better than everybody else. And then they have a, a sleepover at Snobby Leia's house, and Snobby Leia doesn't know what a s'mores is, and like, you're killing me, Smalls. Uh, Snobby Leia looks at the camera, and Pinky's asking who they're talking to. I don't know. Was that in the sub, too? Uh, what was going no. on there? Or was I that think, was just a thing they did? I think it was just a thing they did. It's more like they were doing an aside to the audience, which is a thing you do in theatrics. Yeah, um, they don't really but, do that in this show, though. No, but I think they were doing it to be funny. Like, they were breaking the fourth wall. I'm a usually bit. a fan of that, but it just seems out of place here for some reason. I like to point out we got a Forrest Gump feather ending. So, always nice um, to have that. But, okay, so there was a part in this episode where, um, like, do you remember when Wolf was outside, like... And I like how base... I'm the one who calls her that, and now you are. <laughs> well, I'm just like, I'm just saying, because it'll keep the audience clued in on who we're talking about. We're, we're talking about the purple one. <laughs> the purple one. But anyway, so she's outside. They're all doing the pillow fight. Yeah. She's just like, ugh, sleepovers are for like 13 year olds. And she's like talking to the dog. Yeah. Um, and Which she like thing attacked is, earlier. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the thing is, and speaking of her attacking the dog, in the original, she was actually talking to the dog, saying, Good job. That was a pretty good act you were pulling there. Because oh, that the dog was. Cooler. The, the dog was dog actually was working with her in the original in order to snap. Uh, See, that would have made of her it. seem a lot cooler and more, like, teaching people sensei type stuff. Mm -hmm. In fact, why is that not the dynamic here? Like, why I is... Why are uh, uh, Goku and Wesley there? Why is Wolf not, like, the veteran planeteer, like, teaching the new ones to... Sorry about that. Why is Wolf not like the veteran planeteer teaching the new ones how to do their thing and like showing up? Like, it's like, I don't know, like, you guys like watch Power Rangers very often. Like, I've watched a couple different series. They had. So, like, the Black Ranger for the most part? In yeah, some of from, the series? from Dino Thunder. Yeah. Yeah, where he's. He's Tommy. He's mm -hmm. been a Power Ranger in like eight different series already. He's like, D I got this. Here's your morphers. I'm going to tell you what to do. <laughs> I feel like that would have been a lot cooler, and it would have trimmed the fat a little bit. And it would explain yeah. why Wolf is so much better than everybody else. Mm -hmm. And that would tie into that, oh, you did a good job. I helped teach them a lesson by by roping the dog into a, a scheme that, to make it look like I was trying to kill somebody. Bit extreme. I don't know if I agree with your teaching methods, but hey, you got results. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't know. It's they wanted more. They wanted more cute boys. They wanted more love interest. Whatever. I don't. Ah, know. we'll get to that in another episode. <laughs> um, 
Any other thoughts on this one? Not really. I don't remember how much we were like covering that that snobby Leia didn't want to be a uh I kind of wonder whether I should call them by these like names because I think it's kind of funny at first but after a while it's like okay who is he talking about Karina yeah so I think I thought we covered a while ago that Karina didn't want to be a, a one of these superheroes yeah at the very least early on whenever she did get her powers and then like and like lettuce was also I can call lettuce lettuce because they're actually lettuce. Yes. Or Bridget or whatever. Lettuce. It's, it's too funny. <laughs> like, I feel like every time lettuce has an episode, it's about them. Oh, I'm a the shy, unconfident one, but now I'll be confident. And then it's like, no, you're not gonna because it's we're, we're, we're going off sitcom logic and everything resets after midnight. And you're back to being unconfident and whatnot the next day so we have to do this whole episode all over again it just seems like i we've talked about redundancies a couple times in this episode i think this episode and some others have been redundant yeah kind of yeah anyway um speaking of redundant and and episodes that you know we've all seen a million times pinky's procrastinating on her homework for too long for episode 22. Yeah, I might as well just yeah. start calling them their real names. So Zoe's like, first off, why does she hate tater tots? I don't know. Tater tots are friggin' delicious. They I was are. thinking the same thing. But yeah. I didn't write the script. <laughs> I, there are plenty of things to complain about school lunches. Tater tots are not one of them. No. Even not. a bad tater tot is a good tater tot. But, um. Like, if you want to complain about anything with school lunches, complain about the pizza. I had Pizza Hut for my place. Really? Yeah, I think we like had there cardboard. was cardboard. I've I've heard of places having cardboard for for their pizza, but like we had like a deal with Pizza Hut because it was like down the road or something. So it was mm-hmm. like Pizza Hut day was we had it. I will say Hashtag this: not sponsored. I'd be willing. Yeah, hey, get semis from free pizza. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> my address is. <laughs> <laughs> uh i want to say i liked an element of this episode in how poetic zoe seems to get about her procrastination and her and the state of her life because <laughs> she says i am a dead fo- uh, or uh i am a dead leaf falling from the tree of procrastination i'm like well if this was an english assignment i think you i think you'd be doing Pretty good, but yeah, she's pretty this, sure this whole... she had some English homework in that pile of stuff that she had. I'm sure your teacher would like that one. This whole episode is basically about about uh, Zoe wasting her time not doing her homework that she wasted time not doing already during the summer. Yeah, I'm sinking beneath the murky waters of my own laziness, where the fish <laughs> of shame will nibble hungrily at my rotting. But she cuts herself off because, hey, I'll just call my friends and they'll do my homework for me. Yeah. It's just, I want to give points to whoever has been writing who wrote those lines, because those are just really good lines. Uh, but Ooh. yeah, her friends can't help. Uh, Zoe is very rude to the to the one who's on vacation, because like she's trying to have Maybe? a conversation and be like, mm-hmm. yeah. It's like, well, I, yeah, I'd help you, but I'm I'm out of town. I went to this thing, and it was so great. And it's just, ding, I'm like, wow, you're a terrible well, no, friend. Cause... She okay, so uh, she's actually in Okinawa, both sub and dub. So yeah. she is there. Um, she was asking what yeah, she wanted for a souvenir. Yeah, your friends like trying to be like, "Hey, I can bring you something." And it's like, and you're just being. You're, I'm not even gonna say goodbye. I'm not even gonna let you finish your sentence. Twice she's done twice in the episode. Well, you're you're a bad friend. Mm. Um. Yeah, but, like, all during that, I'm just like, where are the aliens? I need some actual plot at some point. Oh, but then the aliens yes. do show up. Well, the they aliens do. don't show up just yet. We have to have Karibo screwing up, because Karibo can't do math or write, despite being but a robot. A computer. <laughs> and Whatever. And she is back to flapping in the breeze of doom and failure. <laughs> I think that one was my favorite. <laughs> I, that, a couple of these need to be on, like, you guys have seen those motivational posters? 
Yes. They they need mm-hmm. like I I've seen like anti motivational posters as a joke. Ooh, I'm like okay. these are good. Like these need to you need to like those are good quotes for something. Um, but then we get to see the bad guys. Apparently they have a house now with yeah, no yeah. AC, but they have a snow cone maker. So that's kind of cool. Have a snow cone maker and they have a fan and a yeah. TV. They got a TV. They got everything. And of course, we had to have our obligatory uh, the, the, the global warming, and, and we need to destroy the humans before they ruin the planet. So it's a lolly bait episode. Yeah. Um, oh, so that's not actually their house. Uh, what is it? In the original. In the original. In dub, it's their house. They built it. In the original, it was actually yeah. Lolly bait house. built the whole house somehow. It was someone else's house, and they've got like. A barrier set up around themselves so the humans can't see them okay so they're so they're uh oh god i forget the number number 12 13 grimald place book five harry potter you don't know that uh serious house i haven't gotten well, there Harry's yet house. what i haven't gotten there yet i'm on book four leave me alone you want a spoiler <laughs> I'm not going to do that to you. You probably already know everything that's going to happen. Eh, more than likely. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, because it's already been out for so long. Dumbledore is Potter. Voldemort. <laughs> I had Harry Potter friends who were very big into the series and like, eh, it's not going to matter if I, I know anyway. I started reading that when I was in elementary school. I got made fun of for reading that. So I, I, I really was the kid who read that before it was cool. I was the hipster who didn't want to read it because it was cool. So, Mm. I was a hipster before hipsters were a thing. I suddenly like you less. Have I become the Liam of this group now? You might have. (laughs) Gav, you look like you had something to say in regard to this. Uh, I got made fun of for not reading it. (laughs) Oh, so, so you're both in the same boat, and I'm... Pretty much. Well, I didn't, I didn't read it for, like, not, I didn't not read it for the same reason. I didn't read it because everyone else was reading it and, like, they were, like, I guess, rude if you hadn't already been reading it. People were, like, kind of snobby, like. I don't I don't it was very weird it was like if you're not already reading it you're lame and so then it just kind of like it was like the Twilight series kind of okay I didn't have a problem with that one because like it like I there was a bunch of other people in my school who were like yeah no Twilight's dumb we don't care (laughs) I was already reading Twilight (laughs) so that doesn't apply (laughs) um weird like because I'm not that much older than you guys I don't remember it exploding in popularity in a short amount of time. Like, what was this? Like, because it was elementary school for me. When was it for you guys? Um, was it, it was... after? Because it like got big whenever it was like I was in like what? high school. Harry Potter. Felt like, yeah. It was elementary school. Yeah. Really? Um. Well, because it was not too long after the first and second movies came out was when it got like big. That which was, was like two thousand two. The first one was in 2001. Yep. Hmm. Weird. I feel like we're off topic. Yes, we yeah. are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sardon, Sardon uh, pulls a Rochambeau and, and Lolly Bait has to... I'd like to point out, Dren cheated <laughs> and, <laughs> and waited till he saw. Wait, wait, wait. So it's not as obvious in the dub. In the sub, it definitely shows that he did cheat. In Zardon's no, I... like, well, no, like I saw he, he literally... waited. He waited a good half second before he threw out his. No, but in the in the original, he like literally makes a face, looks at where their hands are and what they're doing, and then he throws his hand down. Yeah, like he makes a literal face, like yeah. showing the expression, um, because then. A little bit later, Zardon makes a comment about, like, he obviously knew what he was doing. He was just faking that he didn't know. Yeah. So he could get He's out of hustler. doing anything. Yeah. Anyway, Lolly baits off to go do something. Um, oh. Then we're back with... I actually don't know what Lolly Bates' real name is. Tarb. 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 Okay. 
Uh, then we're back with Zoe, and, and she's like, how do I find the area of a triangle? Well, you multiply the height by the base and then divide by two. It's yes. actually very simple. It's the same way of finding a square, except it's half of it. Mm -hmm. Listen, I didn't remember either, so... <laughs> Am I the only one who do math? No, no you do math. I, I do math. You, you know your math. Not all the, not all the time, but I do, I do some math. Yeah. I don't. Um, <laughs> she, she keeps calling Blondie, and it's like she's not having any of this. She's just like everything is terrible. Who and, Megan? Yeah, and then she calls uh, Mimi back Mimi. And, and hangs up on her again. And she's getting, of course, it's the part where you get calls from everyone who's like, hey, cool things are happening, you gotta join them. First off, who are Tom and Sasha? We have never heard of these people before. Tom and Sasha. That is yeah. the real mystery of all of this, is who they are. I need to know. I need a Tom and Sasha subplot. What were, this is like, they had concert tickets and, and, I forget what the other one was. Shopping. Shopping? I need to know more about these people. Yeah. You can write their stories. I think Tom might be in love with Zoe. Abridged series. Like that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking there's some <laughs> sort of like weird not a love triangle but some sort of quadrilateral thing going because uh Zoe's clearly into Mark but but Tom's into Zoe but Sasha's into Tom and she's only friends with Zoe so that she can try to get closer to Tom. There's a whole other plot going on here that's more interesting than this episode. <laughs> I'm glad wow. you're having fun with it. <laughs> I wasn't having fun with it. I was trying to make my own fun with it. Oh. Uh, but, yeah, so Mark calls and, and he's like, hey, let's go see a movie. And she's like, okay. <laughs> I said no to yeah. everybody else. I said no to Tom. You know how much that hurts him. <laughs> but, uh, hey, yeah. don't knock over the mic. Yeah, Tarb is out in the woods and... We have to have the wonderful summer anime sound of cicadas. Like we have right now? Yeah, I, I don't have that where I'm at, really. I have them everywhere. Oh, too bad They're for you. Everywhere. You got a little more, you got, you got some more woods around your house than I do, I think. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, friggin' cicada sound, somehow, I don't know how he did it, but he just says shut up and they stop. That doesn't happen. I don't know what kind of magic or voodoo you're doing, but but he does it. But yeah, so Pinky goes to... I'm still calling her Pinky. Uh, Pinky, Zoe, whatever. She's uh, on a date with Mark, and, and oh, she gets a message from the other girls, and they're screaming and, and going crazy, and she's like, oh my god, they're they're going to die. It's it's a monster attack. And she shows up at the cafe, and they're like, nope, we burst a pipe, and now we got to mop everything. You're, you're going to help. I'd like to point out, this insane moment that happened during that where Karina was mopping and actually doing work and I'm like when did that ever happen never freaking me out man maybe there was actual character progression from last episode maybe yeah yeah but uh Zoe tries to pawn off her her work on everyone and it doesn't work and some of the some of the excuses are good some of them kind of suck they're just boring or whatever but like uh, and then she's asking everyone to help her with her homework. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, I for, yeah, like, Lettuce says, I'm not going to do it because you won't learn nothing. And Karina's like, well, I will if you become my slave. And she's like, yeah, that sounds great. No. And uh, I don't even think she bothered to go to Monkey. Mm -mm. No. Uh, Wolf didn't want to do it. I nope. don't think. Uh, so it's like, hey, we'll we'll go talk to Goku and Wesley. <laughs> I love Wesley's thing. Uh, doing some old-fashioned homework actually sounds like fun, Zoe. And she's like, yeah, it sure does. It's a shame I can't do it with you. See, the divorced women's the divorced women's club is having their annual fall into cooking contest tonight, and they've asked me to be the judge. I'm like. Good for you, Wesley. You're getting back out there. <laughs> <laughs> I know things were a little rough after after Butterfly Lady gave like gave dumped you, but you know what? Good for you. You're finally moving on. Divorcees you know. are a divorcees are a good uh, start for for when you're kind of 
getting back into it because like they they understand <laughs> they get it <laughs> i don't he's think he's too yeah. young for that hey man sometimes you just need something a little bit easier <laughs> Before he finished his, like, sentence when he was saying about how he was judging, like, their, like, cooking thing or whatever, yeah. I thought he was, like, insinuating that he was a divorced woman. <laughs> hey, you know what? You don't know his life. Or her life, for for that matter. Uh... So. He could be a divorcee. Sh- I, d- no, I, d- I doubt like... it. But, All right. <laughs> hey, he's getting back out there. I'm happy for him. And if you can't be, well, that's too bad for you. <laughs> um, I love I love Goku though. I'm gonna still call him Goku. I think. I think that's okay. a cooler name than Elliot. That's fine. Yeah, Goku just just walks up and he just holds up two fingers, and she's like, "What's that? Two bucks for every question I get. I answer." <laughs> uh, the one who doesn't need money is always the one to exploit money. Mm-hmm. But um, anyway, there's a psycho cicada on the loose, and it's breaking people's eardrums. Yep. And what's with these bugs? As soon as you tell them to shut up, because they tell it to shut up, and it does. I don't get it. I don't either. I wish the ones around my house would do that. Right, but yeah. Uh, anyway, it it starts kicking their asses and making noise, and and they're like, it's worse than boy bands. I'm like. Wow. That's funny. Good for you. Uh, and this is about the part where I think they nerfed Wolf, because they're not doing anything, like, at all in this. But I guess Pink, Pinky's had enough, and she just kills it, which is like, wow. Like, but I, I, it, maybe if she did that more often, then, you know, they could solve a lot of their own problems. Like, maybe we just need to... maybe. Yeah, maybe she's kind of like the Hulk. Yeah, Zoe's like the Hulk. It's like you get okay. her angry enough and she can beat anyone. So let's just piss her off more. Mm. It might work. Maybe she can get on Wolf's level. Oh, but uh, Tarb is not done yet because he got a whole swarm of cicadas because that's always how it always happens. And I guess his his whole point of doing this was to teach her a lesson about procrastination because he's like, that'll teach you to put things off to the last minute. It's like, is this the whole point of this episode to just rag on her for putting stuff off? I mean, I get it, but why are you? You don't even know what homework is. That's a good point. I was actually wondering the same thing. I don't know. Thing. That was weird. I'm like, wait, what? Why? <laughs> What's the matter, Zoe? We can beat those things. There's only like a thousand of them. Like, <laughs> fuck you, Karina. <laughs> Like, I know this is a kid's show, but please, I don't need to be told this, like, now. <laughs> I know I'm putting off my homework till the last minute. Shush. Yeah. And I mean, I'm, I'm just going to throw it out there. I say this, like, every episode now. But for as easy as the first one went down, the four of you could have gone home and Wolf probably could have handled everything. Uh. I feel like I I feel like I'm a broken record at this point, but mm-hmm. I don't know what the point of the other four of them are. They're trying their best. <laughs> well, good for them. That's all that matters. You know who else is trying their best? The divorcees that Wesley is gonna go meet, and and you're just saying that they're too old for it. I think you're being ageist, there, Gav. Uh-huh. You just gotta be nicer to them. That aside, uh, this was a really just a filler episode. Other than, yep. other than a couple of good lines and fun kind of like uh, <laughs> the doom and gloom. I don't know. Something about Zoe being just doom and gloom is very funny. But, yeah. Anyway, uh, the next one's also a totally pointless episode. Yep. Uh, but yep. free dessert day and Zoe's friends are what are their names? Mimi Megan and Megan. Mimi. The blonde yep. and the brunette, whatever. Yep. Um, <laughs> apparently, they met some cute guys, but oh no, it's her bosses. And once again, I'm like, ew, age difference. Yeah. And I'd, I'd like to point out that Zoe also thinks it's gross. 
Mm-hmm. So it's like it's not lost on them. It's it's we like I don't know if this is like a a difference between like a sub and dub thing or it's just like they wrote it this way, but it's like they keep doing these things where it's like there's these very young girls who are into guys who are way too old for them. It's like I don't know and... if it's just like a thing in anime where it's always like if you have like multiple love interests one of them is definitely like way older than one of the other ones gab am i crazy or is this an actual thing i can Uh, tell you that you're not wrong i think that is a thing i just i I feel like i usually see it when someone's like you know of an age where that can be a thing like yeah the divorcees are probably older than uh, much older than wesley but it's not weird, because we already know he's graduated college at this point. Gav, do you remember Shugo Chara? Yeah. You remem- do you remember what grade the main characters were in? They were in middle school. Oh, okay. God. Because then... I already know this is going to a bad place. The other love interest for the main character, he was, I believe, in high school. No, actually, I think they were in elementary school. Oh, that's worse. Okay. Uh, I was about to be like, well, the, the, depending on where in high school and where in middle school, that's okay. Like, you could have an eighth and ninth grader. That's whatever. But elementary I'm school? Ch- I'm going to check myself. Oh, God. Please do. Amu, Amu Hinamori. All right. Okay. She is 11 to 13. So she's 11. Okay, right. The story starts off with them being in elementary school and then gets to them being in middle school. Correct? And he started mm-hmm. in high school? Yes. Ooh. And then Ikuto is 15. In chapter 28, he told Amu he was a senior in high school. Yay. <laughs> Gross. Okay. So that's a... That's a... It's High a school trope. senior dating a seventh grader. I guess so. That's gross. Yeah. Oh, it's a trope. Gross. For at least from what yeah. I've noticed from like shojo animes, for sure. I mean, I I don't have a problem with it as long as everyone's not a minor. Like, ugh. I'm not gonna go into this. This is, yeah. But anyway, I guess it's time to Goku beat up some thugs as a Goku do, and you saved my life. Eh, just doing what I do. I'm like, yeah, that's, yep, that's you, Goku. And I guess the other one's into Wesley because they like the same tea. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is gonna come up a lot, but these two are just idiots. Yeah. They're they're just dumb. Pretty much. But of course they they're gonna they're gonna rope Pinky into the doomed to fail love subplot again. I honestly really hated this episode. Talking about redundancy, isn't this just what we did with lettuce? Not how long ago? Like I want to say seven episodes ago. This is this is almost like point for point lettuce's episode, just split between two other characters. I personally really hated this episode because I hate unrequited love plots if you're going to have it in a show. And I'm just like, please, don't let me sit through this because I know yeah. it's not going to work out. Yeah. Just just give me something else. Yeah, well, they tried. They did try because Goku and Wesley are actually going out to do plot stuff. But then they get ambushed by the subplot. Yeah. <laughs> They're, I guess they have to entertain them. For, I got a, I got a, I got an Oron vibe out of that one scene where they're all just sitting around and and like that's what it felt like. It's like the two girls are clearly in love, and the other two are just like, oh, I guess we got to do our jobs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the one girl though, like I was, I was figuring, okay. They met these two in passing. They don't actually know anything about them. Maybe they'll realize, hey, these two are not people we want to be around. Especially Goku, because he's an asshole. Mm-hmm. But lo and behold, they're like trying to be nice to Goku, and he's like, ah, I don't know. he like says something to him. He's like, ah, he's so crabby. I'm like, why is that a good thing? Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't. I. I'm baffled by by what attracts people to other people, especially Honest. in anime. It doesn't make sense. No. I don't even remember what the actual line for that sentence was. In the I originals. forgot too. I, it was just a Goku line. You could pick out any Goku line, but <laughs> yeah, Zoe saying, "Look at, wow, they're just acting like dummies while they're in love," and Wolf was like, "You act like that like every other day. Mm. You so much as mention Mark, and you're." Bleh. I, I do think I, I do think it's kind of funny that the two idiots d jokingly guess the entire plot of the show correctly on their first try. Mm -hmm. Whenever they're at school, it's dumb, but you know. Oh, but of course we gotta talk about how they have plots to to win Goku and Wesley's hearts, and they're equally dumb. Like, uh, I don't know. That's just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, there was a there was kind of a funny. I don't know, like what was. I was probably reading into this line too much, but Mark said something about they say being in love actually affects your body chemistry. I'm like. I mean. You trying to push a little agenda there, Mark? I mean, it 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 can. You, he's he's definitely one taking more initiative in their relationship. I'm like, yeah. I was wondering if he was talking about some other stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, oh, but we have to, of course, get to the second, and I'm sure, based on the, how the show is going in redundant subplots, and in, in redundant plot lines, uh, this, this will not be the last uh, doomed love preparation musical montage. This time, instead of, you know, making someone lunch, we have lunch and poetry. Yep. And Goku and Wesley are off to do plot stuff, and I'm gonna give them points for perseverance because even though the the stupid subplot tries to tries to get at them again, they're like, nope, this is dumb. We're gonna we got actual shit to do, and they go off and do that. But all oh, that breaks their little hearts, and I couldn't care any less than I do. But yeah. Uh, uh, it's good that they finally realize, yeah, we didn't have a chance with these two. Yeah, they're like a decade older than you. You didn't have a chance here. There was no point in trying this. But of course, yeah. it, I think they see it. Look, Zoe says they were they weren't very polite about it, and they were very mean to them. But I'm like, you know what? They're like, they said sorry. We we have to be somewhere right now. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't seem rude to me. Uh, but yeah, so they find... Oh, let's actually talk about what the plot of this was was supposed to be. The, they, they found some more blue aqua in a lake. And they're like, hey, we should go find that shit. Uh-oh, subplot. And Dren is doing it too, because he's like, hey, we need some more blue aqua. Um, yeah, they finally get to the lake. But, oh, Dren's already there, and he transformed... Blondie and other one into into lovesick bird monsters, and I'm like, my God, this could have been a successful mission had it not been for the redundant dumbass subplot. Yeah. Anyway, so now we have lovesick bird monsters sourced from locally free local free range dumbass, and <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like to point out that a couple of things happen that we haven't seen in a while. First off, when 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 Zoe transforms, she does the the Mew Mew freestyle rap again. Like we haven't seen that in a while. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple other things that well, yeah. Uh so there's an inflatable titty attack that the birds have. Yeah. That was weird. And um then they do a mating dance. Yep. And then try to to titty attack the guys to death. Yep. Um, and then Pinky kills them. And I was about to be, I was just kind of like about to be like, oh, her friend's dead now? That'd be kind of funny. But <laughs> they weren't going to do that. Uh, so Pinky blows up the, mon all, the monsters all by herself. And then Karibo eats the jellyfish. 
He has not done that in a while either. Yep. Yeah. Like, people are actually doing their jobs again. Good yeah. thing. So, but it doesn't really help the fact that, you know, this is a fucking pointless episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wrote down, everybody is finally doing shit in this episode they were supposed to be doing for the last couple episodes, but has been procrastinating. Oh my god, I get what the last episode was about. It was an excuse to, it was it was their way of being like, oh yeah, we forgot to do all this stuff. Here, we're gonna do it again. But yeah. Um, Dren steals the blue aqua, but he's like, it's different, but it's, I'll take it anyway, so we'll figure out how it's different, or... I don't know. Maybe it's special blue aqua. Maybe each person gets their own special blue aqua to get a mega evolution. It's like those mega stone things. Uh, and then you know we're gonna we're gonna wrap up our dumb subplot and uh, Goku and Wesley are like, "Hey, I read your poem. It was good. Thanks." And Goku's <laughs> like, "I ate somebody's food." <laughs> I don't know whose yeah. it was, but it was pretty good. Well, thank God it it was it was meant for you and not someone else, because like that's just a dick move. Um, but yeah, dumbass one and dumbass two realized that they never had a chance with these two, so they decided instead to just start stalking them. Which, yep. if you're gonna stalk people, don't tell them that you're gonna. I don't advocate stalking. But generally speaking, I don't think you want the person that you're stalking to know you're stalking them. Nope. Not at all. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. And everyone's looking on in, in awe of their stupidity. What did you... You said you already said you hated this episode. Yes. I hate it episodes was, like this so yeah. much. Not only have we seen this already, not only do we know that it's not going to go anywhere... But it actually detracted from the actual plot of the show. Like, say what you want about Lettuce's episode. We all saw it coming. At the very least, it was entertaining because, you know, Lettuce was doing stuff. And it was characters that were actually relevant to the plot, for the most part. But it didn't, like, actually derail the main plot. Yeah. Plus, mm -hmm. this is just... Plus, I mean, it has the huge advantage of having uh, Dust Mites just quoting uh, the Brothers Karamazov. That's hilarious. Um, but yeah, yeah. These three episodes had some funny stuff, but it all just felt a lot like filler before we get yeah. to yeah. what would normally, I guess, be like the, the climax of the series, but this is like only season one, so I'm assuming that we're not going to get like a big resolution well, to anything. Well, this is like, it all This is, is their just... season finale, so... No. Oh, it, no, it's not. It's one big season, and then they have like a break after season 26 episode 26 episode 26 sorry. okay so there's not like a mid-season finale type um, deal i mean there kind of is it's okay it ends with a cliffhanger well yeah but i feel like there's gonna be like some kind of climactic battle a little bit right mm -hmm. yeah fight on top of tokyo tower okay well, that's something that's something to look forward to i'm looking forward to that i'm looking forward to actually having like plot in some kind of way I think the plot takes place in... I'm not sure if it's just episode 26 or it's episodes 5, 25 and 26. It probably will, but, you know, we might get a little... Yeah, there might be another filler episode and, like... I don't know. I don't remember. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out for next week. Yep. Any final thoughts on this? I feel like we went a little long today. We had some tangents. Uh, not really. I mean, actually, this is about as long as we usually go, so... Is it? Yeah. It's my, about an hour. My waveform is just off. I don't know. Anyway, I guess we'll just... Last three episodes of the season... 24 through 26 are next week and then we're then we're going on to to watching anime that's airing that will be airing in july which will be interesting we don't do normally do that and i think i think we said we were also going to do like retrospective reviews like we're like we'll just watch a season of something on our own just like not talk about it every week just to like just do a thing we'll figure out when we do that and maybe a movie or something i don't know 
Yeah. We're yeah. experimenting well, with some things here, guys. We'll see yeah. what works. Yeah. We haven't even been doing this for a year yet, so That's plenty true. of plenty of room to play with the Keep format, it. I guess. Yep. Anyway, see you next week. Bye bye. Bye. bye.